Hey everyone, I'm dropping on my PhD in six months and my first goal is 5,000 a month in passive income. Now, I don't even know how to get there, but before I even approach that topic, which I'll probably do in two or three days, I first want to set up a project and knowledge management system. If you ever had a lot of projects and each project has multiple tasks, managing all of them can get very complicated and without a very solid system, it's easy to feel stressed and overwhelmed. And so this is why I'm setting mine up. And the, the software I'm using is called Obsidian. It's a free note-taking app that has a lot of uh, community plugins. So plugins essentially make Obsidian more than just a note-taking app. And yeah, so that's what I've been doing the past 11 days, I believe. And so now, I've sort of solidified how I'm interacting, how I'm managing my projects and everything else that goes uh, into the system. And I guess I can do a brief overview again. So this is a vault. Vaults is where you keep all your notes. I'm going with one vault for my projects and all my notes probably. And I'll probably make this vault available on GitHub so people can reference. But let's see, read me. Yeah, so essentially my system follows getting things done. If you're not familiar with getting things done, done it's a productivity system that, that helps you manage all the tasks and things that need to be done in your life. So essentially everything starts from inboxes. Inboxes is anything that needs to be done. It could be from the notes on your phone to the, your actual email inbox, anything that isn't completed. And so these things that aren't where aren't in sort of their final resting spot are tasks or things to organize. And so if it's a task, if it's not a task, we can either delete it, put it in an archive, put it in our library, if it's like a book or an article, or maybe it's just something we want to reference for a project. So my definition of projects is efforts. It's more general. Now, if it is actionable, it's a task we can do. Either it has multiple tasks, so it's a project, or it's something we can do within two minutes, so we want to do it right away. If it's over two minutes, we want to, we can schedule it. Soft scheduling, so put it on a particular day for any time that we have free time. Or hard scheduling, so putting it on our calendar for a specific time, specific day. Or the other option is delegating. Now, if it's a project that isn't of priority, we can schedule it for someday maybe. So just someday in the future, we want to come back and maybe make this a priority. Or maybe it's like a bucket list item. So that's sort of the overall workflow. And so within this workflow, there's different uh, folders or files. And so for example, I've noted down all my inboxes that I use. So there's my email, there's bookmarks on fire on my browser download, I have the downloads folder. I use notes. I also have uh, an inbox file here that I'll use. And then sometimes I take photos with my phone of something that I want to remember later on. And then I have the wait, the wait file, which is just tasks that I need to wait for someday. Maybe these are tasks I need to do in the future calendar. I use outlook. Now for all my projects, this is the way of organizing my projects. I follow the seven areas of wellness. If you're not familiar, there's sort of these seven areas that people uh, sort of deal with. And it really, in my opinion, encompasses everything that one person can do. Uh, and so it's physical, intellectual, emotional, social, spiritual, occupational, and environmental. And then the other area that I sort of included is, is like a meta or admin type of area, life ops. So you want to maybe improve your project management or you want to um, think more about your life or maybe you want to make clear what your virtues, what skills you want to build, goals. So anything that's sort of meta or admin. Then archiving, I have my own system for that as well. It's all stored in my hard drive and these are the different things that I would, would need to store. So personal identification, yearly documents, 
these are all the really diff different yearly documents. These are all personal things. Um, and then storing projects as well. So efforts. Ah. Uh, let's just get this one. And then I also have a library where I store articles and PDFs, anything else that might be useful in the future. Uh, yeah, and so previously, oh, I need to delete this actually. So for the past like two or three days, I've been working on how can I, so as, as I just went over, the overall structure is pretty clear. Like archiving is set up, library set up, we're following Dewey Decimal. Um, immediate, yeah, these you just do immediately so we don't really need to keep track of them or it's not too hard. Intermediate, this is soft scheduling. So on a given day, I'm gonna have a to-do list. So this is something that I actually stu still need to build up a little bit, but it's pretty clear. Hard scheduling, that's just calendar. So then the only thing left was really um, proce processing uh, projects. How do we set up a project and how do we manage all the different project projects that we have going on? And so for that, I set up a project folder structure. And so that's here. Um, it's a very standard template. So for each project, there's, for example, an overview. We want to know one sentence summary, why we're doing this project, or what's this project about, why we're doing this project, and how we envision the outcome of this project. And then we need to brainstorm. How are we going to bring this project about? What budget resources do we need to constrain ourselves to? And, and then breaking down this project into tasks and into milestones and then tasks and then tracking these tasks. And then there's also these different files that if you want to review, there's probably on the previous day where I covered some of this in detail. So last time I was adding functionality to the timeline and milestones and action plan. So let's see. Uh, yeah. Efforts. So this is an example project that that I am actually going to do, and I was setting it up to um, to flush out the pipeline of how I'm interacting with my projects. So one thing I did add was this overall projects or overall tasks that I need to do. It shows me all the tasks I need to do four weeks from now within four weeks from now that I need to start. So that's just a data view using the data view plugin. So all tasks that are not completed, whose start date is within four weeks from now. So these are, these are tasks I consider on deck and it's within this project and it's a task. So these are all the different tasks I need to do. But more specifically, um, this is the project where I keep all of the metadata. Here's my action plan to all the different tasks I need to do. And then I need to keep track of them, of course. So yeah, I had that, I had all these different tasks set up and using the task plugin. And I had that, I had this dashboard, or not dashboard, but this reminder of all the different tasks I need to do for a given project. And then even more within, or for all my projects, I'm keeping track of them here in the effort dashboard. So here we can see we have an intellectual project with my overview, timeline, plan, status, my start and end date, and then the priority. And so once I add in all my different projects, I can just view them here in my dashboard. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it was a pretty good stopping spot yesterday. And so now there's a few things that I still need to do. First of which, 
I want to consolidate or I did already consolidate so I, I was following I had a version 0 vault and that was sort of where I was testing everything but then we noticed that I was trying to make my own adjust the theme here and for some for whatever reason the CSS snippets I was giving Obsidian were not uh, working and I tried turning off all the different plugins and so that didn't work and so what I want to do is move everything from this vault to here and in that process start organizing everything um, and then start to really tidy up the vault so I can put it on github people can start referencing I'll probably make a post on reddit about it uh, if you if you've been following along I also had like a where was it? a community plugins list that I curated and I put that on reddit and it got about I think 100 upvotes and 18 <coughs> 18,000 views and I think that's brought maybe so far 500 views I don't really know but um, doing things like that I think can help speed up my speed up the ball on uh, getting views to my YouTube and so yeah whenever I can try to try to package the work that I've done for other people and for now since I'm just trying to build up a YouTube trying to build up a reputation that that's things that I'm willing to put out for free and maybe and always I always want to like the things that are fun, fundamental I don't want to gatekeep and um, I don't know put a wall up to that because I know what it's like to come from a plate from not much so I always want like the fundamental things to be accessible and then everything else is fair game so let's see how we want to do this so actually before i transfer everything over i think what's a better idea is let's say we just move Okay, let's first close all of these. <coughs> yeah, we need to come back to hotkeys. Um, Yeah, so maybe before setting up plugins or before moving everything and setting up CSS, we'll just move everything and start here minus community plugins to have at least some files we can reference to see how the changes look. So... Start here, copy it, cool. If you're not aware, really the way that Obsidian works is just keeping a bunch of folders and files. So here is, for example, this vault, and there's the folders and files. It's just a bunch of folders and files, and so you can you can also navigate it through your uh, through your computer. It's all local. It's 
secure. As secure as you are, I guess. Start here. Yeah, so this is minimal theme, or the default theme. And... Obsidian. So let's... Hmm, how do we want to approach this? Inbox, where's my inbox? You have a lot going on here, I don't even know. We'll just add it at the bottom. Uh, fill out my obsidian file in vaults. Okay, so we have this. What do we want to change? What is there to change? Options, appearance. What to change? Let's see. Background, maybe. Text. Headings. Uh, check marks. And. Hmm, italics, bold. I like the way this one looks. I just don't like the color of the text. Uh, okay. Let's see. I like, ah, uh, uh. text, mm. okay. Let's make this something people can reference when setting up their stuff. Text, bold, italics, italics.
bullet point. Yeah, because everything else I don't really care about. I just care about, on a given note, how quickly am I able to find and read the information that I want. And I'm not sure I like this blue text. Oh, let's, no, this is the vault that I don't, okay. So let's try one thing. I don't wanna change too much. So it says light mode, and then we have with an appearance CSS snippet. So let's go to the folder and let's go to the S code. And let's create a new event. Can I actually share VS Code? I don't care about the things on here. A uh, new file, let's say, uh, hmm. people like to keep them separate, but I just, let's just, what should we name this? CSS snippets create file. Now let's try something. So text will be white. Oh, right. So you go here, appearance, CSS, search for it. Why is it not showing up? CC, oh, what, why did it, oh, I see what happened, okay, so, copy, or, hmm, I'll do this on the screen, actually, save as, Command shift period. Command shift period. City, there we go. Snippets. Wait. 
Oh, what a minute. Yeah. So that's just friendly red bars. UI enhancements. Huh. That did not work. If we do red, it turns red. So what should we do? I have an idea. White. I just want to see if How sort of involved this is. Yes, yeah, so we can see it has snippets. Let's just see what else it has. Theme.css. Explore. What is it? Uh, let's go here. Snippets. Yeah. So that was. Was that everything? Wait. I'm. Con oh, it just has one file. Mm -hmm. So I'm curious if I just. What was it? Just it was just basically theme that had let's try something. So right now it's in normal. Yeah, this is normal. De or default and let's copy this download boom now this other file hmm. 
Image of the period from city snippets and within snippets audio downloads theme move theme over to snippets so let's see if that did anything appearance now we see snippets oh noise so that means we can just work from theme they basically have everything set up we can just adjust what we want so here's vs code i'll do this open theme open cool obsidian theme Or, yeah. Monroy mode. So the circle goes. What's this red? Oh, just in general red. Theme dark. just going for actually background so I don't like the background uh, let's see background 
background. I want it darker. Text, I want it lighter. Check boxes. Background color. Okay. I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh, CSS snippets help. Um, user interface. Ribbon. No, I think this is just, got it, um, customization, appearance, no, I think this is just general, okay, where do I go for the, mm. concepts, CSS variables. This is what we want. <clears throat> Borders, spacing, slider, table, files, window, workspace. Hmm. Colors, text, text background colors. Text color, status, te no, 
Okay. Status bar. Tab text. Table text. Title bar text. Where's regular text? Color. Background color. Oh, there's 800. No. Or like a hockey thing done. Nope. Nope. Oh. Enter. Oh, okay. Wait. Okay, so they do have it organized. Maybe I'm just doing this for no reason. So, general, specific, workspace. Not in workspace. Likely not in fonts. It's probably at the top. Variables. Uh, dark theme. Let's first see here. Background. Background. Text highlights. Text selection. Color palette. For dark mode. Body theme dark. Okay, this is a body window font. Font theme. Block quotes font. Okay, so I found bold. Let's do color. Let's see. Bold, bold, bold. What do we want for bold? Mm, I think as is is okay. So I kind of like the color palette I have, but let's see. Switch the highlights or the headings and change the boldness a little bit. So make all of these a little bit bolder. No, keep the boldness, I guess then. Keep the boldness. As it is here. Uh, but change the colors from this to this. Change the background from this to this. Change text. Okay, so let's focus on text. Where is text? We found 
like this, which is on line 200. Headings. All yeah, all of this is here. Line two hundred. No, most. So we just need to find the text. So specific colors. This is likely in specific before we even go to workspace. This is just defining colors, background, text, highlighting. Again, defining colors. block quotes, bold, bold italics, borders, callouts, check boxes, code, comments, cursor, dialogue, borders, dragging embeds, blocks, file layout, font sizes, UI font sizes, font weights, footnotes, graphs, headings, View, horizontal icons, inline title color, inline title color. So here, is it this? Inline title. So that's that, I believe. So I think that's inline title. Lists, links, file navigation, popovers, radius, ribbon, scroll bars, strike through tables, tags, toggles, backgrounds, text, normal. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, line. Line. 771. So, what is this color? Color. What happens if we just do like white? change faints nothing color accent 
color selection. What is going on? Body theme dark. Text normal. Hmm. I don't understand what's going on. So let's go to bold and see if we can bold. Let's straight up just do font bold color. Red. Ah. Red. Save that. Yeah, so that did that. So how do we do text dash color? Is there seriously none color? Text color. Hmm. Color. How do I find this ugly green too? Or blue? Color scion.
maybe Ah, did I go too fast? Tab Title Bar Tab Clickable Markdown preview. This is, oh, huh. <laughs> How is that supposed to be easy to find? Uh, color, white. Thank you, better. So we changed text. This was actually, this is, what was it? 1174, 174, bold. Actually, now let's go to background. I think that means background color of the icons. Yeah, these are all. Text slides, no, I don't care. Publish modal. Ah, where did I miss? End of Obsidian Publish, yeah. Graph view. What is this? Ah, oh, stone graph. Ah, uh, setting. File Explorer. Where am I? Oh, okay. I think it's okay if I just keep going.
let's see. So this is, I don't know what color that is, but it's dark. We'll just use black. If it's too dark, then blacker. Theme. So I've already skipped something. Base, what's this? Uh, no, I think that again has to be all just definition, fonts. Checkboxes, dividers. Okay, we like that. Background, what is in nine seven fifty two? And I don't know what that one is, but doesn't make too much of a difference to me. Um, yeah, this is fine as is. I might hide this divider. Okay, so let's see what I had here. Style settings, headings. No, I didn't want level one, but I did want to change level two to be Maybe just do hashtag. Backward, heading, heading, heading. There we go. So let's see. Uh, no. Ah, why did I do Minimal. Yes, I saw it. What am I doing? Here. So that changed it to white, which I don't want. But why white? Heading color. Yeah. 
change it to Y equal Y. Yeah, that's better. Uh, oh, not the comments. So, tool tips, vaults, mobile, those are plugins. I might remove these because these are just four plugins and I, the default works for me. might have something to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna take a short break. We'll come back to this. Okay. So now we're looking <coughs> how to change the heading color. What's CM header? Yeah, it should be. Why? Why, 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 why? Mm. 
let's okay so this is style settings so let me check cv1 obsidian uh maybe maybe get the weapons no snippets first no community plugins no So maybe in the, or let's check this first. Open with Visual Studio Code. So this is for minimal. H2. H2 color What's this? It just says color orange But it's hard to read. <clears throat> so there's two of them. Text normal. Color orange. Oh, uh, what's that? H2, the default color. What was it previously? Color purple. Oh, okay, let's try something first. One. No, the yeah, that one we wanted yellow. This one we want color orange. Huh, so that worked. Does it fit mine? Yeah, we'll just keep that color green. See what they have here for green. Let's try green the way they have it. Color green. 
Wait. Uh, did I? Three is green. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good green. And then the next one is baby blue. Hmm. Blue. Let's try that. A bit of a dark blue. Let's keep it for now. Purple. And then after purple, we have uh, like an orange. Yeah, so we'll keep that, but we do want to add some shades of blue. Color blue, 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 blue. blue. Black cyan. Oh, actually, this one's good. Cyan 540. Yeah. Around 500. What is it? Cyan. Five thirty. Let's try that. Mm. Five. Two. Huh. That's a weird one. Let's do five. What was it? What did I say? Forty. I'll keep this for now. Actually, hmm.
Okay, yeah, I guess I'll keep this for now. Uh, it's fine. Now for bold. I want a bit of a darker color. Maybe like purple 900. I don't want it too dark. Let's try purple 700, purple 900. And then for italics, I want like a, yeah, magenta. So we have, what I say, purple 700 and then magenta 700, purple 700, magenta, okay. Old italic. Italic. We said magenta seven hundred. Yeah, so that's good. And line. What's a good bold and italic color? Like a yellow? Seven hundred. Let's try that. Yeah, you can keep that. Thirty-two. 
Yeah, and all that looks fine. Yeah, all the other things look fine to me. The only thing maybe is refining this heading scheme, but when do I want to do that? Do a magenta. I don't know that I quite like it, but they're distinct enough from each other that it's, it's whatever. And then the other thing I wanted to change was this. This would be nice, like a, like the purple. So title, title, inline title, font, color. So let's do var. And do color dash purple looking snazzy. Yeah. And the only thing is, oh, where was I? is uh, changing the heading size a little bit because right now as is heading one looks a little bit too big heading six i might be fine it's just maybe a little too small or actually it might be fine mm, i guess it's fine i guess it's fine oh actually just changing the title size maybe just making it bigger inline size yeah see so heading one size let's see how big that is ah Yeah, that's good for me. Oh. 
what's the only difference now? So we have all these figured out. Text is good, bold, italics, check mark. This is something I want to see if I can. Maybe make it red when it's not checked and then green when it is. Just have the outline, not the actual background. Let's see what this does. Red. Oh. No, I don't want the background. I want the border. Border dash color to be bar dash dash color dash red. Let's try this one. Oh, uh, what happened? Why does it change? Huh. Uh, maybe here too. Yeah. So this is when it's checked. Checked hover. Wait, what's the difference here? Oh, when it's hovering. Hmm, what's that slight? So when we're hovering, Yeah, I don't want that. What, what's this? Yeah, that's good. And then once it's checked, I want green. Let's do blue. Maybe I'm not seeing it. Maybe I'm just blind. No, yellow. Huh. Border color, border color. When I'm hovering, let's try here again. 
border, 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 color. Yeah, so when I'm hovering, it changes to yellow. So naturally, it's a checkbox when it's checked. The active color is red. Once it's checked, is it not yellow? Whatever, we'll just keep it red, and if it's not, then it's, it's off our minds. Border color, border color. Why is this checked? Yeah. So that's good. Oh, is it this? I'll copy that and then do color dot green. No, that's the. Uh, Box. Oh, I think it's actually this. So if we do Yeah, but I've actually, the current thing has grown on me.
I mean, everything else looks good, in my opinion. Yeah, so I'll just rock with this and see how it works for me. Now, it did mention... Oh. Jeez. There's that cyan. Color active. If I hover, let's do purple. What did I do for the title? And then background. Tabs, cyan. What does that change? I don't know what that changed. Let me see, so theme, title, bar, workspace, clickable, nav, back, let's see. I change this one, which I think looks nicer. Yeah, that looks nicer to me. So we still have some. This looks. Uh, maybe let's change a yellow once we get to it. Oh, so this one is if we're hovering, that purple, and then the one that's active. Oh, yeah, so it is active. Let's do yellow. Yellow. Border. Yellow. Ah. OK. 
So let's continue what we've been doing. Yamal colors. Purple. I'll just leave that. Yeah, I don't really know a lot of... Actually, what are these? Drop down. Yeah, I don't know what these are. Keeping these as these colors maybe then helps me come back and edit everything else oh but i still have to pop over Highlight text. Sure, I don't use that for now. Whatever. Dragging graphs. Headings. Theme. I don't know what this is. Purple. Oh, there's. Yeah, there's still some cyan here. Workspace tab. Yeah, so that was the workspace tab. Reveal. Let's just change these all to purple. Okay, so I think that was for this. Oh. What was this? Vertical.
Okay. So we should have rid the world of science. Wait, why is that one still? Sign. There's one still out there. Color text. Ah, what was that? I hit it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Sprite. Uh, oh. I was trying to... Highlighting... Makes it cyan, so that's just... Why yellow? Yeah, yellow is fine. What was that? Code value. I don't know what that is. Dragging purple graphs. I don't know. Let's just do purple lines. Purple. That should be what color is that collapse. Hmm. Wait, where could there be sign? I don't know where else there'd be cyan, but whatever. It's just to click one point.
Yeah, it looks a lot better to me. There is, it is kind of dark. Like the distinction between the two. But that's fine with me. No, I don't want to change it. I don't want to change it. I don't want to go into that. Uh, one close. Cool. So we go to appearance, CSS snippets. We don't need that. Bullet points. And That's an issue. Let's see. So that's headings. Oh, what's happened? Headings and title. How do we do font? I think it's this. There we go. That's better. Ah. What's left? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we want to do a fold all. So, the intro is saying that. What settings mo moto? Modals display and accept user info. Create class that extends. Oh. Settings mode. I don't know about the help command. Let's 
menu. Search input. Yeah, so I think this is what I. Okay, so here you are community plugins, and this is what I think I want to remove. So calendar, let's just install calendar, community, browse, calendar. Oh, that's not nice. Let's here install enable. suppose we all of these are for calendar calendar plugin we comment did not work uh, it works up until I see here All of this out. Oh. Great style music. How do you? Hmm. This is not. Plugin variables. I don't know. Just comment. So suppose I remove everything. Load new date. Maybe you had something going on here. Let's try that again. Oh, wait. Oh, it just makes it. Oh, it makes it bigger. Nice. Yes, I'll keep that. And let's see about your menu. Still not good, but it's whatever.
Was there a bar? see a bar but that's fine so the other thing I want to change is uh, purple cone container active text yeah so that's within calendar How do you do tabs, title bar button, merge this ribbon. Is active. Oh, is active. Oh, maybe, okay. Border. Where do I have a border that's yellow, but a color that's... Why is it green? I mean, I don't care. I'll only look at it once in a while. So we'll just ignore it. Okay, so we were going back to community plugins. Let's just finish this. Community plugins, calendar, we're keeping Kanban, Scout Draw, Data View.
Interesting. We'll leave that for now. That's all good. To do's create my own thing. Yes, done. Now, set up hockeys. this do nav folder title how white space is handled in an element navigation file title is it maybe this no wrap white space no wrap hmm okay interesting let's do file folder so it could be anything let's uh, no wrap yep okay so that's what that looks like let's comment it it wraps it why doesn't it this one oh wait I might be dumb I don't remember what it was before white space no wrap Surprise.
I don't know. I think we can ignore it. Delete that. Deleted. Now we're good to go. Snippets is done. To do set up all hotkeys. actually before I set up hotkeys I'll merge all the files then set up hotkeys because the community plugins have their own hotkeys and so I want to make sure that that those are aligned so let me just start here Yeah, I like the way it looks. It looks a lot more put together. Start here, why obsidian. So I could delete these two. Delete about. There's a wall. So the only thing is that, so before I copy this over, first thing I wanna do is tidy up what I have. So let's use chats. Creating a all settings and hotkeys. Plugins to customize my vaults. It's really a it's fault. You draft up some text to put before to put 
Fonts. Is it gonna work? Welcome to Welcome to your comprehensive. This fall is meticulously crafted to not only familiarize but also to serve as an in Seems like a solid start. Welcome to Welcome to a company to a company. Important options, but also serve. So offer. You'll find a curated list. You'll find a complete list of the sense of no, all settings of all settings, hotkeys, and plugins that constitute the core of Obsidian's customizability. Yeah, so I'll have to uncheck them once I finish to upload. But yeah, below you will find a complete list of settings. Huh? Uh, feel free to interact with this list, checking off items as you explore them and revisit them as often as you'd like to ensure you're learning. Efficient and personalized project and digital knowledge system. You will find core of Obsidian's customizability. Default is free to interact with this
so we have all of these done. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So this is the next part. No. Please don't size sub. like it should do. Okay, so let me open another tab. Editor means that tabs. Oh, okay. So this is what ChatGPT gave me. It looks good. Import Yeah Yeah, and then next is start here. We did editor, now follow links. Can you do same for these? So this is follow links, start here, appearance. Hockey's come back to that actually. Go to about. I can just do this. And go back to. I just did about core plugins. Yeah, I'll just do it to this list as well.
Wait, how does it not? Space. How does it know? Oh, because I gave it. Yeah, that's how it must know. That's so weird. Right? Oh, I mean, I also. It's, okay. it's cool. It's cool. Files and links. Yeah, that looks good. Files and links appearance. That's appearance. Now we just need core plugins. So we have, yeah. And then, as always, now it's just hockeys and community plugins. For community plugins, we have data view. Yeah, so let's transfer over this and this. Unsighted about the folder yet. But we'll see. New notes. <clears throat> file below. Oh, I see why calendar went green on me. Okay. But anyways. Here's my list of not used. And here's a full list. Full list. not used and then my used community plugins used
core functionality. Yep. So there's this delete. And then I just need to fix that. This one's done. That's done. I think what? Yeah, so that has some. What's this from? Oh. Okay, so next is command center. So start here. <clears throat> okay, command center is next but for now let's this is next for now let's focus on what we have what is all this for to do this okay Set up hotkeys. Okay, actually, before this, download core plugins or not core. Okay, even before that, settings as shown in notes. Then download the community plugins. And update notes. Then set up all hotkeys plus community hotkeys. Yeah. Then transfer over. Oh, I see, I see. server to project management to start here no taking guide currently Walt has a software obsidian guide and project management guide. But what about note taking guide? Yeah. So set up settings. Download the plugins, update the note, set up all the hotkeys and the community plugins. Then we're gonna go on to the next. So come back to that. So 
So this goes here. What is it? I don't know, I can do all kinds of plugins. Yeah. Time to take another break. We're almost done. All right. All right. Back from the break. So now, set up settings as shown in the note. Actually, feel free to get started. Customization options, all customization options. From the settings menu. In the lower left corner. <clears throat> to get started <clears throat> explore the options the setting options setting options below wow Testing nominee, something like that. So, editor, <coughs> editor, first things all. Hmm. Displays on, status line breaks, strip line breaks is on, properties. Is visible. Fold headings on, show line number. Uh, fold heading, fold indent, show line number, show indentation guides. Spell check. Um, yeah, I'll leave it off. On, off. Oh, no more legacy editor. Okay. Now for the next. Visible. Actually, I need to blow my nose. I'll come back. Okay. So we just finished editor. Next is files and links. Uh, 
cause. Actually, we don't want the prompt. Deleted files moved to system trash on vault folder shorts path. Internal links shortest possible path possible. Just links is on. Delete all file extensions off in subfolder. <clears throat> I'll just make it clear images. No, nothing else. It's so now appearance. Dark accent color as is things defaults. Manage, show installed, this one, uninstall. So, <coughs> font, On show in line, show in line title, show title bar. Oh. <clears throat> wait, oh, wait, uh, ribbon menu, oh, did I just change the show in line title? And let's just make changes here, themes. Default. Cool. So let's see. Ribbon menu. Interface. So font. And then interface is showing my title. <coughs> interface zoom level is in advanced.
So I changed that zoom level native menus is on <coughs> window custom app no translucent window on hardware acceleration that's new Snippet uh, Follow me Appearance <clears throat> so, mm, is there no longer an about? So now in appearance, hardware acceleration, and then that CSS snippets. Now, what's left? Core plugins. On, bookmarks on, canvas, sure, we'll keep it on. Command palette, yes. Daily notes. No, I'll just take it off. I don't. I'm gonna have a macro to to automatically create the, all the notes for a given week. Files, format converter, graph view. No, I don't use it. No compose composer off going links. page preview properties view for your oh uh sure publish off on off on undecided 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 or no on on no on workspaces 
off for now. So the ones that I changed <coughs> was graph view and I swear there was one more. Daily notes. Yeah. Decide on canvas slash commands slides workspaces. Oh, okay. So we have core plugins. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, core plugins have been turned on. Okay, now it's... Community plugins. Community plugins. We'll start here. Or, okay, actually. So, browse. Let me double check these. Better word count. Yeah. Text format. Yes. Oh. This one was no longer, and yeah, yeah, yeah. All of these no longer need. Okay, actually, let's unfold all headings, <coughs> add hotkeys, yeah, these are fine, those are fine, undecided task projects, this one was cut, Didn't I just see that one? Privacy and maintenance. Privacy and maintenance. 
Oh, I guess I need to do. So let me look at this one more time. Got a word count, text format, natural language notes, text snippets, outliner, quad outliner, quick explore, quick switcher, recent files. So this should be a better list. Dates, install, enable. So what was this? Oh yeah, it's basically like autocorrect, but like if you have on my way and autocorrect changes it to spell out on my way, then that's essentially what it's doing. But you can specify what you want it to do. This one I don't remember if I want. <clears throat> Move list and sub list. Out indent. Yeah, actually maybe not because you can already move it like that. Or, let me see, outliner, let's 
ました。ユニボン。エンヘンス。あ、oh,、what is it? Let me see. If I turn it off, if I turn it on, hmm. no, I don't think I, it has that much extra functionality. Let me see if this kind of doing. Let Yeah, so we'll keep quiet outline. Quick explore. Editor mouse. <clears throat> oh, 
on for you to enable them. But no, I haven't used multi column markdown as of yet. <coughs> So we'll just put that there. Hotkeys plus plus install global hotkeys install sort in. I've installed calendar, periodic notes, no, tasks. <coughs> Enable and pack rats. We'll install because I think I might need it. Can ban. I don't know if I'll need advanced tables. Um, hmm. I don't know if I'll need that either. I'll skip it for now. All of these coming back to Tag Wrangler. Yeah, and then everything else. It's not yet at all. So from here.
command actually. Where is it? Commander. Custom file sorting is on. Data view is on. Data view, data folder. We'll have that on. Editor, hotkeys, hotkeys, hover editor. Kanban, meta, metadata menu. Mouse wheel, natural language, back rat, and you come back to pain relief, quick explorer, quick switcher, quick add. Oh, shortcut launcher. Short cut. Short cut launcher. That goes here. And then, what else do we have? Status bar, tag wrangler, tasks, templater, workspaces plus. Plugins, icons. Around thirty one. So now I have everything downloaded and all of these are come back to I could see this being useful for other people, but it just didn't go into my... Maybe have like... I don't know how to spell it. Read. Let's <laughs> leave that for now. Uh, okay. Hmm. 
And so as I go through and set these up, I'll start to set up hockey. Or maybe even before then, community plugins are extras. So for now, set up core hockey. a short break. I feel out of breath for some reason. Sitting down all day sucks. But we gotta shit get shit done. So I'll be back shortly. We'll highlight the key hotkey, set those up. The rest we'll use from the command palette. And then we'll go through the community plugins and make a note for each community plugin and set up those hotkeys in that note as well. To the side. Yeah, and then go on to the command center. Okay.